Imagine yourself slipping into a black hole, slowly and steadily drawn deeper and deeper without handholds or footholds to stop your descent. Some have described their battle with compassion fatigue as being sucked into a vortex that pulls them slowly downward. Most healthcare workers dealing with the effects of this black hole called compassion fatigue usually resort to doing what they've always done, work harder and give more until they are completely tapped out. Compassion fatigue is not just a fluffy term for burnout. It depletes not just your mind and your body, but the very core of who you are as a human being. The seed of your emotions, your soul. It also makes you feel like not shaving and kind of being scruffy and disheveled. Oftentimes taking the form of disdain for the frailty of humanity, this psychological foe can lead a person who at one time entered the field of healthcare out of compassion to walk away cynical, jaded, and convinced that all human beings are hell-bent on destroying themselves. Doe-eyed nursing students become jaded chain smokers who spend their breaks railing against their latest lousy patient and the broken healthcare system with other cynical coworkers. Whether you're caring for a friend or family member with a terminal illness, or you're a trained medical professional, compassion fatigue is one of the deadliest adversaries any healthcare worker or caregiver can face.